When I was in grade school, I'd often be looking out the window studying the clouds instead of studying the text in front of me. I was always interested in astronomy. I mean, since I was a baby, it was just fascinating to me. Thinking of things that were so far away in just in philosophical terms, like, wow, the Earth is such a minor, small part of the entire universe. I brought home rocks and bugs and things at the youngest age I can imagine, wondering why spiders spin webs or why there are some large insects and small ones. Well, when I was a child, I was playing around. I was just interested. I wanted to know how to do stuff and how to think about stuff, and I wanted to see the stars with my telescope. I, I was always interested in problems or projects where you have something to do, maybe you don't know how to do it, but you need to have something done at the end. It was a very gradual process from just going out and observing nature on my own and becoming a professional at it. We're all curious, and when we're curious about the natural world, the natural universe, the stuff around us where we live, breathe, our planet lives and breathes, and that's the first start of science. It seems to me if you want to be a scientist, then you just have to start uh, and, and put your heart into it and immerse yourself in it as much as you can. Don't postpone doing what you want to do. Do it right now and uh, go as deeply into it right now as you can. We don't legislate physics or chemistry or biology. The natural world does and that's why it's so fun. It's a puzzle. To me, it seems sciences are among the most exciting things we could be thinking about these days. Uh, scientists are discovering so many fascinating things, partly because we have new tools and we can be participants in it. And that's just so rewarding to be discovering the secrets of the universe.